Hello everyone, this is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. I hope that you will join me today for some cute ideas. For today's project, I would like to make a wind chime. I want to make a fish netting and then decorate it with some embellishments. For this project, you will need some twine or some grass rope. I bought my grass rope from Walmart and they come in 50 feet long. And then you, you can get twine from Walmart or you can get them from Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree does have the two-tone colors and they also have their natural color. And my project also involves a piece of wood or a dowel. You will need to cut down the piece of wood to the width of the netting you want. I also have from the Dollar Tree some seashells. I put holes in mine ready for threading. From the Dollar Tree I also have these round rings and I did put holes in them uh, so I can string them. I recently also made some seashell embellished ornaments. I have the turtle here, the starfish, an anchor, and some seahorses. If you would like to add lights to your netting, you can find these LED wire lights at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has the starfish and the seahorse lights. You will also need some wood beads. I have these square beads from the Dollar Tree that I will be using. This is a garland you can find at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to take the wood beads off for my project. I will let you know if I need any additional supplies to complete my project. I would like to thread some of my shells first. I'm going to take some of this jute cord and going to use the red and natural color. And I'm going to measure this to about 10 inches and I'm going to cut down several of these pieces. So you, you measure the first one and then you just fold the string over and over and then just get of equal length uh, strings and just trim however many pieces you want and then I'm going to take my string and just put it through my shell on my shell I did put holes up here at the top you can always put the hole on the bottom if you like and I'm going to let's see if I I may oh there we go I'm gonna fold it in half and then just put loop the the jute cord like that and then this way I can tie it off to the net just like that and I can I can always string more later on if I like I just some of them are a little small <laughs> so what I'll do is just twirl that through get an equal measurement and then just put a knot right there and then that still gives me enough of the string to tie it off Next, I would like to show you how I made this. This was a bit of a project here. <laughs> I had to experiment first. So what I did was I took some jute cord, I cut it to 16 inches, and then I took some glue and put glue on each end of the jute cord. That's gonna help you with the beading. 
So for this project, I'm going to add scissors and some glue to the uh, supply list. Now, the first thing I want to do is thread the wood piece. So, yeah. You need a nice edge. Get that jute cording through there on the ring. And then take a wood bead, which I decided to do. <laughs> and let's slide that down. And then go ahead and bead the bottom half of the ring. That is um, a bit of a process. So patience when you're getting that bottom part. So this is what you have now. Now you want to, let's see, let me move this. When you get down here, you want to leave enough to where you can tie the shell off. So what you want to do is put a knot right here, right below the ring. Don't tighten that one, just a very loose knot right there. Now take a shell. And go ahead and tie that shell off right here. Put a couple knots in there to keep the shell. Um, make sure to tighten that knot there. And then go ahead and trim the excess thread. Okay, once you have done that, go ahead and that loose knot that we made here. Open it back up and you want to slide that knot down so you have about, oh, uh, let's see, maybe half an inch from the top of the shell. Go ahead and tighten that knot now. And then slide your, your round ring down. Now that knot there is going to keep your ring from sliding all the way down okay once you have done that get another shell and you want to go ahead and put the shell on top of the your thread there or your jute cording and then you want to gauge about where you want to put a knot so there and then go back down a little bit here and we want to put uh, two knots right here and then we want to stack those knots before you tighten it check one more time so the knots going to be about right there kind of give you an idea and then that gives you that half an inch in between the pieces there go ahead and tighten that one and then put another knot right over that first knot so now you have one big knot, see there? Now take your shell and slide that on. So there we have it. And then put a knot on the outside of your shell. And that's just to make it look pretty. So there we have it. And then you have that extra jute cording to tie the um, our new dangle piece to the netting so then go ahead and complete however many of these dangle pieces you will need for my project I determined the amount of dangles that I needed um, on my dowel so what I did was I took my dowel and I went two inches from the edge on each side and I decided to put my netting on the dowel about you know in the center and I want them to be about two inches apart so that helped me determine that I needed uh, nine dangles for my netting I am learning that picking a fishing net is not as easy as it seems. <laughs> I wanted to run my cording here and then do it on here. But since I'm using such a thick 
um, road. And it's not that easy. And I'm using um, the grass rope because that's what I want to use. It's eco-friendly and biodegradable, all that stuff. So I I cut a piece here. It is about 42 inches. And I'm going to put this aside because I'm going to use this as a hanger. I put a twine in the center here. I'm going to attach it to my helper like that. But before I do that, I need to do the first row of my netting. And yeah, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube you can use. <laughs> Making a fishing net is not easy. It seemed like it's such a simple process, right? But no, it isn't. Okay, so um, yeah, this is a lot of fun. They have this special tool that they use to make netting. <laughs> but not me. I want to make things difficult. Okay, so. I need to shorten this right here. And, and catch that, tighten it really good. And I want to make sure I go about right there. And then take this and go around and then bring that and then go um, about two inches and then I need to wrap it again. I need to give this a little slack so my I have a loop here. <laughs> so about like that probably. Um, and then you get that um, loopy thing there. And then you catch that to tighten that piece right there. See? And then you do it again. <laughs> and then make sure you got um, a, 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 a somewhat a matching loop, I guess. Move that over a bit. Like that, and then do it again. Wow, you know the, the people that make the huge netting? Oh goodness, they have some patience. Let's see. Um, You know, I was watching The Amazing Race and one of the challenges on that was to repair um, a fish netting. Like, wow, even that was confusing. <laughs> okay, and let me tighten that one. So now I have two loops. Well, two uneven loops. Okay. There we go. And then do it again. Get that loop again. wrap it again and pull that tight. Squish those two together. Pull it tight. There we go. So, and then I'm going to keep doing that and make sure I have so one, two, three, four and I want to make sure I have nine. Okay. 
So I have my nine loops now. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, <laughs> I have to do it again. Now I gotta go this way. So I, um, going back this way, I have to take my somewhat, or I, I tried to organize it, but it's just not, it's impossible. <laughs> So I'm supposed to go through here. Ah, there we go. Now I need some kind of loopy to match to all my other loops. And then I need to take this one and loopy above all my stuff. And I'm supposed to take the, the top loop and pinch it together and then I have to take my bunch and put it through the new loop I made oops hold on okay so I went in my new loop now I have to come out see that the loop above all my mess I have to bring the the mess through here. Oh, great. Okay, hold on. So I've got it all out, and then I gotta keep my loop here. I gotta keep pinching that, and then hold that off. And then it's supposed to catch. You have to hold that until everything catches. Exciting, right? There we go. And then we created a new loop. And <laughs> it's larger than I need it to be. Let me see if I can, since I have like um, a thick rope, I think I can tighten it. Now, if you had a really skinny one, I mean, a very thin rope, you won't be able to tighten it, like, untie it like I did and tighten it again. So, um, there we go. Exciting, right? Now... I have to do it again right here. So I need to take this. I need to create some kind of loop here. Um, some somewhat matching loop, see? And then I need to go through here. So what was I thinking when I started this? <laughs> Get through all of that through there. And then um, pinch the top loop. Together like that. Um, and then and make sure that I have my loopy here. Uh, okay, now I gotta do the the top big loopy, <laughs> and then it goes um, the bunch goes through my new my new loop. See how complicated I have made this? I would suggest you not do that. <laughs> I swear my fingers are gonna be cramped by the time I'm done. Okay, there we go. Now I gotta keep holding that. I gotta make sure I have my loops um, somewhat. Where am I? Oh, grabbed the wrong one. Okay, this one, the top one. Right, I have that. Okay. And then um, I have to come back, go under, and then come back through here. And then um, I gotta hang on to that and then tighten this one. And 
and tighten it until I lose that. Okay. And then there we go. I'm on my second row. Look at that. Okay, my, my lippies are not um <laughs> are not as even, but still how exciting. Look at that. I am creating a net. I'm gonna go all the way across and then um, do the reverse all the way around. And let me see how far I can go. My plan is to go about 16 inches down is my plan, but we'll see. Um, from back to front. So I come up through here. Come through here, make the loop, and then pinch the top loop. And then you make your big loop over your weave. And then go behind the pinch there, come back out. Through, through the big loop there and then keep <laughs> we're supposed to hold the continue to hold the pitch there and then tighten ta-da okay let's do it again Back to front. So if you're going from left to right, you go from back to front. Make our loop. And then pinch the top loop. And then make the big loop up on top of your whole project. Above your weave. And then go behind the pinch. Come back out through the big loop or you know or the new loop you created through and then through the big loop and then tighten so don't let that pinch go <laughs> until you tighten it if you're using a really thin string See there how exciting right so um, yeah we just keep doing that all the way around until you get the length you need I want to show you when you run out of rope so you add your uh, another rope like you do if you were gonna repair a netting so I'm down here at the end now and 
Now, I've made so many mistakes, I probably would have won't go on longer, but yeah, this is what I have. So, on my second coil, I'm just going to leave it like this. Make my life easier. So, when you get to here at the end of your first um, end of the rope, so you, you loosen this one a little bit, the last knot, and then you take the new one and slide it in there and then just leave um, a tail and then go ahead and tighten your old your old one <laughs> yeah just tighten it really good and then <clears throat> you want to take the ending of the new rope and then just uh, do a couple of uh, slip knots that'll help secure that the new addition. You can do two, you can do three, however many you're comfortable with. See there? And then you want to do the same with the old one. Just wrap it around the new one and tighten that. And then just go ahead and trim these down. And then there we go. We're ready to work again. I have completed my netting. Look at this. I have a fishnet. Cute, right? So I have, well, I measured it from here to the tip there and I do have 16 inches. So I end up doing, let me see, let me count right quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven rows. But I, I'm quite happy with the way it looks. Adorableness. Now I need to go ahead and start adding all of my embellishments. I have my uh, dangling bits here. I'm going to take these and attach them to the bottom um, loops. See there, I have a loop here. So I'm going to take this piece here. and just tie this off. I want to just make sure that I have um, just a little bit of space from the, the loop between the loop and the shell. So probably what um, about a half an inch maybe a half an inch to an inch there and I'm going to Oops, loop this a couple of times. And you kind of have to just measure the loop there on the bottom there. Just guesstimate where the center is. And then just tie. There you go. I think that's good, right? Like that. And then the next one. Go to the next loop and do the same thing. Tie that right there. And then just do run some slip knots on there just to, to work the rest of the uh, twine there. And this will also help it from unraveling later on. Then the next one, and I'm going to go ahead and do this all the way across. I have added my little danglers. So, I don't know, I miscounted somewhere, but I only have eight loops. So, two, four, six, eight, I have the eight attached. And um, apparently, I made ten of these. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two extra ones and then I'm just going to maybe tie it off the at the top right here somewhere just attach it somewhere here and this will give it some 
some added charm. Maybe one on this side and then the other one on this side. And I'll just tie this one off. You know, it'll uh, help with all the chiming. <laughs> And make sure I have good a good knot there and then I'm gonna just trim that off and I'm gonna put the one other one on this side and probably about right here there we go and then let me tie that one too or cut it off so now I have a piece here and a piece there and then I have all the the ones on the bottom here. Now I'm going to add some of these ornaments that I have. And I'm just going to, you know, pick a spot and just add it. Tie it off here. Actually... Let me knot it. There we go. Trim that down a little bit. So I have an anchor here. I have a sea a seahorse. So all this is just to make it look pretty. Cut that one. And then I have a turtle. Put that one on this side. Cut that. Let's see what am I missing. I have a turtle. Um, a starfish. I'm missing a starfish. I think I'll put the starfish up here. So I just piled it on. I end up using like three each of my ornaments, so I think this looks good. Look at that. Cute. Okay, I will hang this up and show you later. So now I have my shells, and then I'm just going to pile this on also. I'm just tie it off onto the net. Oh, this is going to sound really good when I put it outside. And, of course, I will... I will show you when I hang it up, but already it sounds amazing. It's going to look stunning. Just make sure you tighten it when you add your shells and your ornaments. Okay. Get a good knot on there. Packed on my shelves. Look at that. How gorgeous, right? Look at that. And then I have the bottom piece right here. I have the danglies. Um, now I want to put my hanger on. And I want to go ahead and use one of these. The grass rope again. And I'm just going to tie it off. On the edge here. And... If you guys know how to do a figure eight knot, this will probably be fantastic. Look at that. Got one on that side, and let's see. And give it a little bit of slack there, and then get this side. And we're gonna do a figure eight also. Let 
Yeah, I'm just going to pull that. Tie that off. And then, um, you can always um, drill a hole on the side if you want. You know, it, it's up to you what you want to do. And then, let me do a couple of slip knots up on each side here. Oh, just, you know, I'm knotting everything anyways, right? <laughs> get that knot, a couple of knots there, and then I'm going to trim that. And then the same thing with this side. Do a couple of slip knots. And then just trim this off. There we go. And then I will go hang this up and show you what it looks like, okay? Here is my new fishnet wind chime. Isn't that adorable? I love the way it turned out. I'm quite happy with it. Well, I now know how to make a fishnet. <laughs> It took some time, but I got it. Let me get you a closer look. What I need is some breeze, but at the moment everything's all calm. <laughs> uh, let me let me give it a little rattle. Look at that! Isn't that adorable? Oh, I love it. So I have all my ornaments on here. I have my seahorse here, my anchor, my turtle, and my starfish and then I have all my shells on here too and I got two two dangles here and then of course I got all my dangles on the bottom there let me tilt it look at that isn't that adorable I love it once I get some breeze going a, a little bit of wind it'll make some beautiful noise in my backyard I am very happy with my new wind chime. Just adorableness. Well, I hope that you guys like this new project and that you give it a try. Create your own fishnet and embellish it with some seashells and you have your very own wind chime. Have some fun. Thank you for stopping by. This is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. And I will see you next time.